Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It is Francesco here. Today we're diving into AkiFlow, which is a application that's is sort of like a consolidation application that allows you to bring together your tasks alongside your calendar. Fairly new concept. We're going to overview everything you need to know uh, and also go into the features of this application. It's available on Mac and Windows, so let's dive in. So this application actually scored a uh, product of the month, I believe number four, which is fairly good um, and that was a little bit of time ago they pre-released uh, AkiFlow as a like command bar type thing a bit like command E but now they're actually a fully fledged sort of task calendar application now the application is free uh, it comes with four integrations and there is a $15 per month premium which is a little bit steeper but then you do get some more integrations with that that you can connect up with your account and it is available on Windows and Mac as mentioned so what I would say about this application is it's trying to hit a new type of market, consolidation apps. Now, we all know that lots of different things come into our system. Um, maybe you and your team use a variety of tools. Well, the goal of AkiFlow is to bring those tools together so it's easier to manage them in one place. We've been seeing this uh, quite often with browser applications um, that allow you to bring in uh, different apps into one screen, whether that's Slack and these different applications. But this one is trying to bring the task elements of it and bring your calendar in as well. So there are some special features inside this application. We'll show you them as we go around. Um, they'll pop up in the bottom right hand corner as a key feature. Um, however, let's dive into this. So as you can see here on the screen, we have Aki Flow all loaded. Now I'm actually using the Mac version. So you can see here that on my right hand side, more front and center is the calendar. Calendar. The calendar experience is pretty good. I've got this connected to my Google Calendar. And as you can see up here, there's a variety of views with good level customization. For example, six day view, week view, month view. They don't have a two week view. I know some people do like that experience. However, uh, I'm pretty impressive in terms of a calendar view layout. You can also see the calendar settings that you do have, all of the types of uh, events you have, um, for example, like all of the different calendars you have, and you can have a secondary um, time zone. So for example, if I wanted to add San Francisco, I could add a secondary time zone, much like Google Calendar. Now, one thing with this is it splits, as I said, into two. You've got tasks this left-hand side. Now, you can use the default abilities inside of AkiFlow to create tasks. However, they recommend that you bring in tasks from platforms you might use, like Todoist. Um, let me go to settings to show you some of the integrations. Now, this is where uh, AkiFlow becomes uh, much more useful um, because um, it actually brings in a variety of integrations. So you can see here, let's say you and your team use Trello, but you use Todoist as your personal and maybe a client of yours uh, is using ClickUp. So you can bring all three of those in, in the free plan and one extra if you wanted to. But let's say your team in another team uses Slack or Asana, then you can bring those in. So the variety and access to these consolidation applications is quite interesting. You can also bring in Gmail. So whatever you start in Gmail appears inside of your AkiFlow. Um, and also obviously Google Calendar is already connected up here. Now I'll show you the Todoist integration near the end. I have tried it and played around with it. Although the way that I set up my Todoist subtasks probably doesn't lend itself to be used with AkiFlow. However, I found that uh, the integration worked uh, pretty well and uh, you can do uh, routine syncing on it to, to make sure it's all up to date. So um, let's go back and just show you a little bit more around it. So as you can see here, I can start typing in a task like film video and as you can see, the to-do is created. Now you can add things like duration, things like repeat and the priority level of it, description labels. Labels are particularly helpful when you're trying to learn, uh, sorry, not learn certain things. Uh, you can see the learn AkiFlow one here, but if you're trying to, to do a type of task, so for example, if I was like, okay, uh, writing, um, and let's just say for namesake, this is writing, um, then I could narrow that down. And what it will do is it will create its own sort of like layout here. So you've got inbox, planned, snoozed, someday, and done for all those that have been tagged with writing. So as you can see here, um, quite a new, nice visual layout, especially when you're scrolling through like today and tomorrow and organizing your tasks for the day. Now, one of the things you can do with the task is you can drag it into your, your to-do list for the day or your calendar for the day. Uh, and you can see here that anything that pins to the calendar will go inside of this area, which is helpful because a lot of people like to associate a, um, a task inside of the calendar day. 
Um, so that's a good way of being able to sort of reorganize that one, change the time to it, and you can even lock time on your calendar as well so that people don't disturb you. So one thing you can do is the inbox as well and someday as well for capturing stuff that are associated to a future task that you might want to get done. Now the real magic here is with the command bar. So as I said, they've been a command bar for they were an actual uh, fully fledged uh, task calendar application. But for example, let's say I wanted to, you know, film uh, reels. I could add that as a task or a new date. And I can use these keyboard shortcuts to quickly create these tasks and organize them. So I can, you know, put it in for tomorrow, uh, uh, today, and hit save pretty instantaneously. But what I like about this, so for example, if I put um, right medium and I entered it, I can actually use a command bar to as you can see, it's selected the, the actual task in hand and I can go ahead and do a variety of things like make it the goal for the day, move it to the inbox. But once I learn these keyboard shortcuts, it makes it a lot faster. But let's say I wanted to plan it and I could be like tomorrow. It's all done in a few clicks versus, um, you know, doing uh, a few stages. So there's a benefit in learning the speed and the command bar inside of Aki Flow. Now there is such thing as snoozing. So if you wanted to snooze, um, for example, I could uh, do that again. So just demonstrate that. If I press um, space and enter, I can snooze it for tomorrow quite quickly. And you can see any snoozed inside of here, which means it's basically hidden tasks for later. But you do get prompts to actually make sure to um, learn the, the, the elements as well. Um, and that's something that's quite helpful. Now, as you can see here, I've got this from Todoist. So you can see that I've associated a task here uh, inside of Todoist. So the integration is still connected, although I did remove it this morning just for the purposes of this video. But the integration does work uh, really well and you can actually go into it if you want to inside of Todoist uh, but you can uh, get those through your Google Calendar now as well um, so the calendar slash task setup is quite nice especially for people who want to be time blocking now one of the elements that you can do uh, in the premium plan is actually use the um, availability sharing so if you are someone that's like right I want to find you know like for example if I press do 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 across here find a few times and I press share availability then what happens is it will go inside of a copy uh, clip Board and you can share it with other people to find a relevant time. So it's not a fully fledged schedule appointment feature, but it is a handy one if you're quickly trying to send something to somebody else uh, and they want to pick a appointment with you. So folks, that was Aki Flow. There's more to it. Um, I actually probably want to dive into like a secondary thing, but this is more of an introduction to it. There's a great level of detail in this application. And to be honest, uh, I've been fairly impressed with the, the way that they've set this application up. Um, I feel like there is a big market for consolidation tools um, in the near future future and maybe this will be that superhuman of task management that I mentioned for the future of task management applications. But folks hopefully you enjoyed today's feature, um, uh, hopefully I rounded everything up for you. I'll include all the details about AccuFlow below if you want to check it out. I managed to chat with their founder when I was getting things set up. It seems like a nice chap and um, it's interesting to see how and what they're aiming for in the future but uh, something to keep an eye on for sure. Thank you very much guys, I hope you enjoyed today's feature. Please do make sure you're subscribed and I'll talk to you all very soon. Cheerio! Thank you.